We are heading to the Robin Hood's Bay, a coastal picturesque village in North Yorkshire, and namely in the North York Moors National Park. It's a place where Peter was born and grew up. We're going to visit his mom and stay there for a month or so. What you doing here, man? I'm waiting for a train to God's own country. Not yet arrived. To the north. King's Cross. The wall. To get there, we take a train from the King's Cross station in London and go to York and then change to the train to Scarborough. And from Scarborough, we take a bus. While waiting for our platform to be announced, I'm checking out. A Harry Potter theme shop. To be honest, I read only one book uh, about Harry Potter and I don't know much about it. Just was curious what they sell here. It's quite popular among tourists. on a train uh, but because the previous train was cancelled there were a lot of people standing because they didn't have any seat and that's what happens in UK quite often it said because they um, there are many riots fortunately our train was without any delays and the next one as well I like going by trains and watch scenery in the window. I find it soothing. After roughly a five hour trip, we arrived at Robin Hood's Bay. Robin Hood's Bay is a place with history. An English ballad and legend tell a story of Robin Hood encountering French pirates who came to pillage the fishermen's boats and the northeast coast. The pirates surrendered and Robin Hood returned the loot to the poor people in the village that is now called Robin Hood's Bay. Well, it's a myth and another myth it will tell us a bit later. The true origin of the village name is not known. Robin Hood was my really like superhero of my childhood when I was eight or ten years old. And if somebody told me that time, there is a village called Robin Hood's Bay and it looks like this. And one day I will come here and stay here. I will be totally happy. So. This is the bay. The village here is Robin Hood's Bay. To the north of the, north of the bay is Nest Point. To the south of the bay, we have Raven Scar, and the bits that's out there. And the name Robin Hood's Bay, the, the mythological story is that Robin Hood stood at Ravenscar, mm -hmm. took an arrow and fired it with his bow and said wherever this arrow lands shall be named after me and according to the legend it landed in where now Robin Hood's Bay is but it's very very unlikely seen as it's over four kilometers distance. Hmm. We are now heading towards the sea wall which was one of the original coastal defense systems here it's a massive concrete wall that protects the cliff at the bottom of the village from erosion and stops houses falling into the sea. 
company. It was a massive engineering project in 1974. It was built over a few years at the start of the 70s and it's uh, badly in need of renovation. Okay. It's a former smuggler's village. During the late 18th century, smuggling was prospering on the Yorkshire coast. Robin Hood's Bay still features an underground tunnel starting on the sea coast, and there used to be a network of subterranean passageways linking the houses. Vessels from the continent brought contraband which was distributed by contacts on land, and the operations were financed by syndicates who made profits without risks taken by the seamen and the villagers. Tea, gin, rum, brandy and tobacco were among the contraband smuggled into Yorkshire from the Netherlands and France to avoid the duty. What was here? And this was the way, because smuggling was one of the big uh, industries here. This was the way they used to get them through the village and you could go along here and get up into the houses, into the cellars and hide from the customs and excise people. Many houses in the village were built between 1650 and 1750, and whole families were involved in the fishing industry. Mouse. Mm -hmm. And another mouse. So these were made by a, a a uh, carpenter whose name was Thompson and his nickname was Mousy Thompson because on all the things he produced he carved a little mouse. You'll see, you'll see there's a couple of things all through the village. The chair at your house yep. is by him. Mousy Thompson. Yep. Yeah. It's got a mouse on, yeah. Robin Hood's Bay is also known for the large number of fossils which may be found on its beach. The foreshore rocks on the north side of the bay, in particular, are a well-known location for finding ammonites, especially after winter storms. The village is also quite famous in culture. For example, the novel Dracula by Bram Stoker has scenes set in Robin Hood's Bay. Quite a few other films and books feature scenes and episodes um, in the village or surroundings. I was quite impressed to get to know that uh, Phantom Thread, a movie by Paul Thomas Anderson that was uh, premiered in 2017 and I loved it, was filmed in Robin Hood's Bay. Strangely enough, I saved the picture from this movie and uh, I didn't know it's uh, the scenery of Robin Hood's Bay. <laughs> I just like the light and the atmosphere. Pete gets some fish and chips from the shop. Fish and chips is the most iconic British dish uh, for takeaway. It's fried fish with crispy batter served with chips. The dish originated in England in 1860s and uh, it's not really known who created this culinary fusion but it became an emblematic British meal. Uh, there is a theory that it was introduced to the country by Spanish and Portuguese Jewish immigrants who spent time in the Netherlands before settling in the UK and uh, acquired the habit of frying fish and it, it was as early as the 16th century. Well. Today it's super popular, especially here. Why is it called the poop deck? It's from a part of a ship. It was called the poop deck and I have no idea why it's called the poop deck. But it's named after a part of the ship. Hey, obviously because they pooped there probably. No, it's nothing to do with the poop. <laughs> with what then? <laughs>
couple of days in July were super hot for England. It was up to 37 in central parts and in London, as far as I know. Here it was 32. It didn't feel like it, but we took a chance and paddled a bit. The little pools. Steepest road in UK. Like things that stick out, and when the ship hits it, it explodes and blows the ship up. Now it's used for charity, for mm -hmm. collecting money. And I don't know if he still does it, but I think my cousin Ben empties it out regularly. When Peter was growing up here, the village wasn't so packed with tourists. Now it's pretty full. And I completely understand why. Sea breeze, wonderful views, lots of places to walk to. It's also the end point of the coast to coast walk, which we want to make one day. I will definitely show you more surroundings in my next videos. So if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe. There is an agricultural and handicraft competition that takes place in the village yearly. Locals compete who grows the best fruit, vegetables, who takes and draws the best pictures and makes any possible handmade thing, etc. etc. And Pete's mom participates in it and we went to check it out. All these handcraft things. Pete, Pete, Pete! So what what is this called where we are now? It's the village show. Well, what's presented here? Uh, plants, vegetables, craft work, all sorts of stuff. Made by local people. All local stuff. Yeah. From uh, the villages around? How many villages? Uh, around here, Robin Hood's Bay, Thorpe, Raw, mm -hmm. all the local area. So who judges them? We don't know. It's like these mysterious people dressed in grey turn up in a cloud of smoke. Uh, and who sponsors all of it? Well, you did when you walked in and <laughs> paid. <laughs> 50 pence. Come hey. on. Have you, got, have you got that first prize? Yes, yes. First prize for Pete's mom's rug. Cool, huh? First prize for the plant, for Pete's mom. First one for me, 996. Close. Second one, 280. Is it zeros or is it just fives? Just five. Uh, three. Close again, but not enough. Different shades of yellow. 